Hey, what's going on, guys? It's go time. Today is the 15th. Well, actually, it's the 14th. Getting ready to be the 15th. And you know what day that is. I'm going off grid for 30 days. Right now, we're looking at the batteries. They are 55.4 volts. And uh, we're currently pulling about three to four amps out of the battery bank right now. Let's go through. Uh, on T2, we'll hold on a second. Let me get this camera steady so I won't be shaking so much. T2, we pull in. 150 watts on one we pull in 82 watts 4% no PV power because it's almost midnight it's about three minutes till so I'm gonna go through here and get back to my this is what I like setting on so I can see what my battery voltage is and my amp draw. So let's get down to business, guys. See that little symbol right there? That means that the grid is on. So let me mosey over here and turn it off. Hold on just a second. Okay, we back symbols gone which means we are no longer on the grid we were already running on the batteries but we won't have any grid backup I'm going to try to go 30 days with no grid backup just running off the solar the batteries and the 5048 here so let's go around and check on the batteries and then I'm gonna call it the night. Alright, hold on just a second. Okay guys, we back. Here we go. We got the state of charge. It was 55.4, I believe. 85% is where we was. Earlier today we was at um, 57.3, which was 95%. Uh, I, I started only charging up to 95. I don't go to 100. So I, I um, start off at 95 and I end at 40.7, which 40.7 is 5.8 volts. 2.9 volts per cell, 5.8 volts per module. So once I get to 40.7, I'll call that zero. So right now we're at 85%. And uh, let's get started. Let's check these batteries out. Okay, I got the fluke meter set up here, and we're going to do some testing here. Okay, what we got right here 7 7.99, 7.99, 7.99. 7 7.99 7.99 7 7.99 Okay, let's check each cell. 
3.99 when it's flashing like that I normally just choose the lower voltage so if it's flashing from 3.99 to 4 I normally just go with the 3.99 because it's normally somewhere between uh, maybe three quarters of a volt so that's why I keep bouncing back and forth so I just go with the lower number 3.99 3.99 got the polarities reversed let me switch that 3.99 3.99 Now that's 4 3.99 That looks like 4 to me to shoot four. 4 4 4 Four. Okay, so batteries is looking good. This thing been running perfect. No BMS. I started checking these about once a week now. I don't do it every day like I used to. And it seems to be staying in perfect, perfect, perfect um, balance. Now a guy sent me a message and said to check them when they're in bulk I think he said bulk or either in float and I checked it in bulk and in float and it's the numbers are still real real very very close there too but then probably I can't even remember I haven't did it in a while but next time I will do that when we are sitting at seven point uh, I mean 50, 57.3, I'll check it on camera so we can see what it's looking like. But everything is going good. I'm going to keep y'all up to date every day. I'm going to try to give you two videos a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. So you can see what it's looking like in the morning and you can see what it's looking like in the evening. Maybe sometime I'll check it in the afternoon when the uh, batteries is fully charged hopefully we don't get any storms or anything to st um, stop me from charging where I have to go back on grid but and guy asked me what what did I have this light in here for this is for crappie fishing and uh, what I normally do with this light is when I first put these batteries in in here, uh, some of them was kind of out of balance, so I would I would drain the cells that was too high with these. I, I would put it on like that and drain the cell. And if I had to do the whole module, I would do it like that and drain drain it down. And that's how I got them in balance. After I paralleled the whole thing, I paralleled all the batteries together. Once I paralleled all of them, that got the voltage pretty spot on. But once I started charging, I noticed that some of them was charging a little faster than others. So what I did was I took this light and I would put it on that, that battery that was charging the fastest. And I would take some of the voltage out of it so they will all charge up equally. And once I got, got them in balance, I haven't had any more problems. But that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I'll try to get you something. Uh, i shoot it in the morning and try to upload it once I get to work. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.